Hey guys, Melissa Blevins with melissablevins.com, your personal finance coach for the free-spirited nerd. So today we're going to be talking about how to save money on groceries. We all know that grocery shopping is a big part of our budget, especially if you have a larger family. I have a family of five and I can tell you that I have pretty much figured out that my budget has whittled down to $100 a week on groceries. And I'm gonna tell you how we do it right now. So, the very first tip that I can give you, there's a one, two, and three to this tip, is number one, do not go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. If you are hungry, you will likely overspend and bust your budget on junk, on things that you don't need, or things that your household doesn't need because you were hungry when you went shopping. The second part of tip number one applies to not bringing children with you to the grocery store. I know this is hard for some families. I have three kids my own, and a lot of times I don't have a choice but to bring them. But if I can go grocery shopping while they're at school, while they're with their dad, and, and leave them with their dad and go inside, it makes things so much easier. I sometimes have my husband sit in the car after church with the kids while I go into to the grocery store shopping by myself so that I can focus, so that I can get the things that we need and get out. And I stay on task easier when I'm by myself than when I have our kids with me. Tip number, well, this is still tip number one, part three, is don't talk on the phone while you are grocery shopping. Because, I mean, this is an obvious one. It's easy to get distracted having a conversation and, and you're not paying attention to what you're really doing. And then tip number two when grocery shopping is to make sure that you're adding up how much each item costs as you put it in the basket. You need to have a budget when you go in and know I'm not going to spend more than $75 this grocery trip and really stick to it. The way to do that is to grab one item at a time. If it costs $139, round up to $150. You've got two of those, so that's $3. And you just start adding and adding, and then you're $27, $32, $33, $38. And you just keep adding in your head as you're grocery shopping. I know that they sell these little clickers that you can click, and it, it, it will count for you as you're grocery shopping. I personally have never tried that, but I have heard they are wonderful. I count in my head and it, it is what works for me, but whatever works for you is what you need to do. You definitely want to add as you go so that you don't bust your budget. Tip number three, take cash with you. When you are grocery shopping, this comes out of your envelope for grocery money. So if you take $75 in cash and you have no backup plan, then if you go over budget, you're gonna to have to take something out of your basket. So it will help you stick to the plan, stick to the budget when you have an actual cash budget to follow. My fourth and final tip is to go grocery shopping at Aldi whenever possible because Aldi is a great money saving um, company for our family. They have eggs for 25 cents a dozen and milk for right now it's a dollar eighty for a gallon of milk you can save so much money on a lot of the staple items and stay in budget and then if there are some items that you prefer a specific brand that is not available at Aldi then you can go to Walmart or you can go to your local grocery store for the filler items but it just definitely is worth the two separate trips so I hope this was helpful for you guys if you enjoyed the video, if you got anything out of it, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'd be happy to give you some more tips and tricks on how to make the most of your money. Thanks so much. Have a great day.